Okay, now installing the leg bracket. Um, keep in mind, with any of these wheels, uh, this happens to be a Pacifica, you're gonna have, odds are, some kind of a metal bracket or something in here. So what I do is I open one of the clamps, I remove the bolt from the post, and now you just start. So the easy way is you just put that there, right out of the box, it's about open far enough. Take this as so, up against the leg. You want this as high as you can get it. Doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it so that you can adjust it back and forth once you're more ready. So with this, let me just give it a quick little. And this just makes it easier for the next step if this is down. You know, basically just kind of holding this here, then you can get your hands free. I've already opened up this one so I can get past any of the bracketry. And then we just kind of, you know, sneak that around. And again, get this going. Now you can use a regular screwdriver or whatever but this definitely makes it easier. And you can get these way tighter using a, some kind of a wrench or a screwdriver like this. It's got a nut driver on it. All right, so you want this as high as you can get it so it'll move back and forth, easy. Now with this, you're gonna have this little key here. There's the threaded part. You want this to land in the slot and then you're gonna start your bolt back up. Now at this point, you would use, you know, some kind of a crescent wrench. This is a 916 bolt. I'm gonna use this just for my own ease. And just get that barely snug so it still can move. All right. So your next step, here's your height adjuster. We're just gonna set that. Yeah, wherever. You're going to need a bat. That'll come next. First thing you do is get your centering paddle to the center of the wheel head. Doesn't have to be perfect, perfect, but it should be good. Okay. So now you can move this leg here. You want, you want to see this part. This here. And then you can slide this out till you get to your approximate center, which that's plenty good enough. Now, crank this bracket down. Get this thing on here. You're done with this part, so just get it good and tight. You know, you got to give it a little bit of love here, but once it's set, it's set. The next thing you want to take this back off. your intended bat for use um, and then put this back on now see this is almost set perfect you see that height you might want to be just a touch lower but you don't want to be scraping the bat hard you want to be floating just a touch above it so that's about perfect and take the wrench I provided and tighten this down done with that part don't forget your washer. This goes here, and what this does is just keeps the two like a bearing from acting on one another and making things difficult to work with. Here is the last part. Put this on. I'll bring this over. You can actually use this dot for your center, but you want to loosen this finger, bring it down to the height of your floor, you know, that's all personal preference, depends on what you're throwing and how thick the foot is. And then tighten this down. Once you're to there, good to go.